Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a pregnancy update. I am currently 15 weeks and five days pregnant. So I'm in my fourth month right now. I think that I missed the third month update so I'll make sure to incorporate some of what happened in the third month and some of what is happening now. So starting this video off with the baby. The baby is currently the size of a navel orange which is pretty big. I feel like it's kind of hidden in there. Like how is it the size of a navel orange? Because I don't feel like I'm that big yet. But anyways that's super exciting to know. If you watched my previous two updates I noted that I hadn't had any nausea. I think I had like one or two days where I was actually feeling a little bit sick but other than those couple days, I have had no nausea, which is amazing. Like I said in my previous updates, my mom had hyperemesis gravidurum, I think is how you say it, and she was in the hospital for six months with me. They actually asked her if they wanted to abort at six months along, which is crazy. So I'm super grateful to have not had any sickness and had a pretty good pregnancy so far. I think I said in my previous update that I wasn't really feeling tired and that I know a lot of people get the pregnancy exhaustion and I really thought that I wasn't feeling it but actually now being in my fourth month I've kind of had a little bit more energy come back so I actually really was tired. I wasn't exhausted but I definitely was tired in the way that I was super super lazy. I didn't want to do anything, I didn't want to cook, I didn't want to clean, none of it which was super hard because we had family over for Christmas. Having them over really made me realize how tired I was because I made them do most of the cooking which was probably bad of me but I was super tired and just didn't wanna cook, didn't wanna clean, didn't wanna do anything. So I'm definitely not super exhausted like people say, but I am tired and lazy and I just don't wanna do anything. I'm definitely feeling a little bit back to myself in the fourth month. Um, I have a little bit more energy. I feel like I wanna do a little bit more. I wanna cook again, which Alex is probably happy about. Food aversions are going away a little bit and I can eat a little bit more. In my last doctor's appointment, my doctor had told me that I actually have lost weight since my first appointment that I went to which was really good except for the fact that now is the time when I should be gaining and I'm starting to gain like a pound a day so far so gotta cool it a little bit with that I have been eating a lot of ice cream chocolate it's Christmas time so I would definitely indulge so now is the time to kind of pull her back in a little bit and start eating a little bit better. One of the things I've noticed also is that sleeping is getting a little bit difficult and like I said I'm not that big yet but I already feel a lot of pain when I sleep, especially because they tell you to sleep on your left side and I don't normally sleep on my left side. So I've been sleeping with a pregnancy pillow, which my sister got me for Christmas. So I'm so thankful for her for getting that for me. And Alex just loves it because it takes up the whole bed. But I've noticed too, that even though it helps me sleep on my left side, my belly still feels like it's kind of like falling. So when I wake up in the morning, it really is like achy and hurting. So I got a pregnancy wedge pillow that's supposed to go under the bump. So I haven't received that yet. So I'll see if that makes any difference. Um, another thing is that my boobs still hurt. They said in my app that the boob pain is supposed to go away. No, it is still here. <laughs> I have to wear a bra to bed or else it feels like they're just like falling all over the place and they're in so much pain when I wake up. I've also had a little bit of achy hips and I've also had round ligament pain. So when I stand up really fast or I get out of bed, I can feel a really sharp pain in my side and they said that that is just the round ligaments that are pulling. And then there was one night where I was sleeping and you know when you get a leg cramp and it's like so freaking painful, I actually got that on the round ligament and it was painful and there was nothing that I could do to really fix it other than trying to stretch it out. So that was a little bit crappy, but round ligament pain, definitely experiencing that. I haven't had any cramping this month, which is really good. I was feeling a lot of that the first trimester and in the first couple months. So I'm really happy that that has gone away. I have started experiencing headaches and a little bit of dizziness and this kind of came in the third month. I had that for a few days in a row and I just realized that I needed to eat a little bit more regularly. I did go in for the 12 week ultrasound to do the nuchal translucency test. And to be honest, I didn't really go in there to do the translucency test. I really just wanted to see the ultrasound again. So that is the main reason why I went. And baby was super active, which was super cool to see. The minute she put the ultrasound sound thing on my belly the baby was just bouncing around and flipping and then the doctor tried to get a 
picture on the side because they need a perfect side angle to get the measurement in between the neck. And baby, of course, was moving around and she was trying to get it to move by going like this on my stomach and the baby would jump and turn and it was just so cool. They did end up getting the right measurement and everything looked perfectly fine in the results. The ultrasound tech said that my baby was very active, which I'm sure will be very exciting later on in this pregnancy. So we went to a doctor's appointment a week after that and Alex was actually with me and so was my sister and we got to hear the heartbeat and I actually have a video of that so I will insert that here. One of the things that actually happened to me before we went to that appointment was I actually had to put my dog down, which was really, really sad. I was very, very emotional over that. I was pretty much crying the entire day. On that day when I had to put her down, I actually ended up falling down the stairs and it was a really bad fall. I ended up having bruises on my butt and my back and I hit my neck and I was a little bit concerned. I had to call the doctor and make sure that everything was okay with baby and they said, yes, everything is fine as long as you're not bleeding or anything like that. We went to our doctor's appointment after that and heard the heartbeat, so all is fine, but it was a little nerve wracking. Another pregnancy symptom, which I'm hoping is a pregnancy symptom and not just this dry weather, I have had the worst dry skin and dry scalp ever. I had to call my mom and ask her if she could bring me head and shoulders because I had a Christmas party that I had to go to and it was so bad. Like I was, I was almost in tears. That was how bad my freaking dandruff was. And my face has been really bad so I've been using some facial peels and I've had to get a really expensive moisturizer <laughs> for my face and it's just been a struggle with the dry scalp and the dry skin, but I'm hoping that that's gonna go away soon because it said that the glow is supposed to come now, so that means oil, right? We actually got a lot of baby stuff for Christmas from our family and I wanted to show them because I'm super excited about them. So these are some baby pants that we got from Alex's family. Um, his mom went and got us a cute baby blanket. If you don't know, I love elephants. So our baby room is definitely gonna be elephant. I actually got this from Winners. It says, love you very much, and it has an elephant on it. It's kind of like a quilted material, so that is super cute. I'm going full neutral because we don't know baby's gender yet, and yes, we are finding it out. I have an appointment on February 4th, and then we will be doing some kind of reveal the weekend after that. This cute little swaddle, I'm super excited to use it. Although, baby's gonna be born in June, so it will be a little bit hot. So this one might be super thick for that. And then I also got a cute little elephant onesie. There's little elephants on it. And a little white onesie from Alex's family too. And then there's this cute little two-piece set with little pants and the little top. So I'm super excited to use all of those things. And then I also got the chance to go maternity clothes shopping when Alex's sister was here. She has two boys, so she is very knowledgeable in the field of maternity clothing. So I made sure to utilize her while she was here. And we went to time maternity, motherhood maternity, and Old Navy and got a whole bunch of different things. So that was really exciting to go with her to get all of that stuff done. Some of the cravings that I've been having, I've been craving pickles. I ate two full jars of pickles over the holiday while I was home for Christmas, which is pretty embarrassing. I will actually put the pickles in a jar, eat the pickles, and then pour pickle juice over top of it and drink that, which is kind of gross, but it tastes so good. <laughs> And then I'm also craving gravy. So poutines are really big, chicken bowls from KFC, which are really bad for you, but so good. I'm just all over that gravy. <laughs> and Coke. Um, whenever I go out to get anything from anywhere, I also have to get a Coke, which also really isn't that good for baby, but you know. <laughs> that is kind of everything, I think, again, baby brain, so I don't know if I'm missing anything. I've kind of been really bad at keeping track and remembering everything that happened over the last four months, but pretty sure that's everything. So I guess it's time to show you the bump. I'll take off my sweater. This is one of the maternity shirts that I got. This is I'm really 
hiding for 15 weeks. Like, where is baby hiding? If it's a navel orange, that's like quite big. Like, where is, where is baby? <laughs> All right, so I think that that is everything for the fourth month update. I'm going to be trying to do monthly updates, so hopefully I don't forget for the fifth month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the pregnancy updates. And I'm super excited to find out gender next month. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.